I really have no question. Just, uh, I mean, this, this, is, this is something we have to. I mean, we, we have to support. You know, I mean. Bradley Manning, WikiLeaks. Bradley, Bradley Manning, WikiLeaks. Transparency, transparency in government. Honesty, transparency. justice. I mean, it can't. I mean, this is about our economic self interest at its core, but it has to expand beyond that. It can't just be, you know, my pocket, because that means when we get that, we drop out. Uh, I want to say one thing that. about that, yeah. that um, what Locke thought government uh, was, the purpose of government was, was to protect our rights, and among those rights were our economic interests. Yeah. Yeah. Like one of the things that we in America are, are big about, no taxation without representation, <laughs> Locke articulated this, and he didn't put it in that start, simple buddy. way. Yeah. But the notion of, of the purpose of government is to protect our rights, and among those rights are our estate, and he explicitly says in the last chapter on dissolution of government that one of the hallmarks that a government is corrupt is that it starts to invade your estate and take your wealth without giving due explanation and account. Oh yeah, I, so. I, I mean, and these things, I mean, we obviously, we need to survive, so we need economic justice, but my point is that, you know, we need to look at it beyond just us like as individuals and understand that we are part of a you know a worldwide global community there is no I mean obviously America exists in France and you know whatever but we are one world and we have obligations to people that we it doesn't matter if I've never met you or if I will never see you I have an obligation to you and one of my one of my obligations is to not harm you I mean, that's my, my primary obligation is not to harm other people and to do what I can to rein my government and our corporations, you know, rein them down a little bit because we actually have some power here compared to the people of, say, Uganda or Vietnam or something. We have an incredible amount of power. You know, we, we, need, to, we need to exercise it. We need, One of the things that shows justice. our power is the fact that governments are repressing WikiLeaks right. because yeah. they don't want mm -hmm. us to know. Actually, two, two related questions related to law in terms of that. One is, how is it, there is the, a whistleblower law, yeah. like how does that relate? So yeah, I, I don't know about that. I can't, I can't answer that because I don't know. It about does, it, it does that apply to military it's personnel though? It's civilian. It doesn't, it doesn't, so it doesn't that's apply that's to the military. Military, the military and has then, its own code of law. And then the second, and then the second related question, which actually I do know because I don't know much about that, but about the in terms of the the Nuremberg principles, which absolutely, I mean, he was so wonderfully acting in accordance with the Nuremberg principles, which require us, and that includes civilians or military or anybody else, to to stop our government from its illegal acts. That's, uh, that's actually quite important. Let me say something to that. Um, uh, yeah, we're not supposed to, it's not a protection for us to say that we were only following orders, right? Right, right. right. But, but here's the thing. He is in a chain of command. Mm -hmm. And if he were to do as he is prescribed to do, he is to bring this knowledge, this information right. of wrongdoing to the chain of command. Indeed. And what we know about the workings of this, and he knows, mm -hmm. is that they tend to squash it. Exactly. And what was exposed, what what was was exposed in this particular video is that the justification for murder came from the chain of command. Mm -hmm. So the people who would be responsible for the deed he could expose, and I don't know about other things, I'm only talking about one example, mm -hmm. are among the chain of command. Yeah. So we would be asking of him I mean, according to our, the way that the, the things are configured in, in, in law, we would be asking him to go to the people he'd be ratting on, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. which is unreasonable. Although so him turning to the public is reasonable. the thing is the thing we need to protect. Right. We have to ask ourselves, why is it that we make carve out exceptions for some parts of government, like espionage and military, where it's not okay for, for people to know about things that our moral conscience tells us are abuses. Exactly. We have to ask ourselves, to, at what point are we gonna demand that government be moral? 
And, th and that's what I think, you know, Malcolm X would say, you don't go to the crook for justice. Right. And, and, and I think the fact that the, the moral compass, as we talk about reason and revelation, I mean, the, the, the revelation that should be coming to us is that when we see folks like Manning and his action, that should be in us, that, that we should not limit ourselves to thinking that we're confined to only written word that we call law, when the intent is that for, for in all things, we are to operate in the best interest of the people, whether the law states it or not. But knowing what we know about the corruptness that can occur in creating statutes, because remember, that's what Dr. King talked about, mm -hmm. about you know it's those unjust laws that we have to right. move against. Oh, right. and, and so here we are, and I, and, I, and I always think of it as an impregnated moment. Here we are with bearing witness not only to what Manny has done by getting it out, but here we are amongst many people who are still playing games, self game for self-gratification, instead of moving to a level to use it to bring an openness and a freedom to, to the system that we all operate under. So, just imagine if many of these people who play these games all the time were to learn to maximize their skills to bring more insight into these rooms where democracy is often suffocated and mugged. If they use it, we see it in the streets bearing witness to the ex to how police officers execute in the street instead of performing their duties appropriately. But I'm just saying we're in this moment that that causes back to ourselves, back to what we the individual, because in all of history and all of what everybody else has done, it still comes back to us, what are we prepared to do? Because what you just unfolded for us was it, it helped, and particularly when, when you go back to reason and revelation, which one, you can travel either road. You gotta travel one or the other. It's also interesting that like- But, but both are supposed to lead to truth though. Yeah, both of them are supposed to lead to the truth, but you cannot stand stationary, talking about you, you, there's no neutral position, there's no, well, I'm just trying to figure out, you got to go. I mean, it, it, we also have like a, an example very recently, the Penn State, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the Penn State, so here we have a civilian example where the law fully uh, is in support of doing the right thing, right, because, because here you have uh, a, a coach who molested a, a number of children and who was caught doing it and the people who saw it did nothing right turned a blind eye didn't right. take the information right. where they should have right they, they didn't they didn't perform their Bradley Manning this yes. you know <laughs> they, they, they held sure. back for their own position title and privilege let allowing children to be abused mm -hmm. and then when it did come to light then immediately the law went into action saying you should have done this and now we're gonna punish 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 it's but yeah it's in dispute it is in dispute yeah. but it still is moving in that direction yeah. very much so and and and, and I mean, it's in dispute the extent to which they report it, right? So, right. So oh, the, right. The, yeah, the, the the one co the one graduate oh, student said he did report, right? And the two people he reported to are now the prosecutors are claiming that they did not forward the information right. Right. right exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. But at first, so, but, what, but, but what I'm saying what I'm saying is that the law is in fully in support of people should have spoke up, right? Everyone, the people say that, and the law says that. Right. And this is a civilian example. Now, we, now you turn that in a military sense, now it's the exact opposite. We yeah. turn that the exact yeah. opposite. In other words, don't say anything. Let right. people die. Yes. Let mm -hmm. secrets be held. Let torture happen. Let abuses happen. Don't rock the boat. I mean, and it's, it's like the government speaking out of two sides of the same mouth. Both are the law, both are the government. One, on one side we're saying, if it's, if it's in this situation, tell. Over here, don't. don't. Brought to you by the folks who brought you, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah. So you have, what you have is immorality and you have, yeah. you have incongruency within, within itself. And that's why we the people are here to say, no, that's not what we no, want. No. <laughs> is it, well, is there, there, let's give him a chance. Either, oh, either for the purposes of, of the direct action or maybe education, it strikes me that it's particularly poignant that we're in the shadow of that courthouse and there's a discussion of whether it should be named after Samuel Jackson or, or his boss, uh, name I forget who was the, uh, both of them made their name in the Nuremberg trial. Samuel oh, Jackson really? was the assistant yeah. and his boss, who was also from Buffalo, was the chief prosecutor at Nuremberg. 
So perhaps we should oh. perhaps we should propose oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that that in honor of the Nuremberg principles, we could name it the Bradley Manning oh. Courthouse. Oh. 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 On the twentieth. I think, that, I think that that name is still is yeah. still not is still not finally determined. Oh, Ryan yeah. Higgins.